You may receive contact lists from brokers, lead sources, and other industry sources that you may want to be able to use. ACT gives you the ability to import data from a variety of sources, eliminating the need to enter them manually. The Import Wizard enables you to quickly import data without having to map it, and also imports directly from popular applications like Microsoft Excel. To import data into your database, simply go to the File menu, choose Import. This opens up the Import Wizard. I'll go to the next page, and here you need to select the type of file you want to import. I've got an Excel spreadsheet that contains about 20 contacts in New Mexico that I want to import. So I'm going to choose Excel from my list here. Keep in mind though that if you use Excel to import, you must have Excel installed on your computer. Now I'm going to locate this file. Click Open. ACT wants to know what kind of records I'd like to import. These are going to be contact records. And here I can choose to do a typical import or a custom import if I have any custom fields in my database. Also you have the ability to enable duplicate checking at this point just in case some of those records are already in your database. I'm going to choose a custom import just to show you what it looks like. Some Excel spreadsheets will use the first row to contain titles for each of the columns. I recommend just taking a look at your spreadsheet before doing an import just to make sure that all the data is correct. As you can see, my spreadsheet has field name information in that first row. So when I go back to import, I want to make sure I don't check this box. I don't want to import that row. At this point, I need to match up the fields if they're not correct. But ACT really does a good job of figuring this out for you. I can scroll through each list here, and I can see that the spreadsheet has a field called Suite. I want to map that to address 2 in ACT. And now I'll click Next. ACT lets me know that all the fields are compatible, so the import can continue. And once it's finished, you can always view the import log to see if there were any errors. There aren't any here. It shows me that there were 20 contacts successfully imported. And I can double check this if I want by going into ACT and doing a search where import date equals today. Now I can review that information to make sure everything is correct. The ACT import wizard simplifies the import process, and it's especially useful if you frequently import data from various sources.